Virgo, welcome to your Sunday Shuffle. I hope you're well. I hope you are fabulous. This week we're going to focus simply on September. Decided to go ahead and convert the general overviews into the Sunday Shuffle. We don't need 50 minutes for a monthly overview, you know what I'm saying? Uh, just to FYI, I have recorded or started to record your messages a couple times. I've consistently got one theme. Just, I guess, to do a recap, Virgo honey, just... Just reach out. It's what you want to do. The only thing that stops you is fear. Okay? Uh, somebody somewhere leveled a heavy, painful truth and or accusation at your feet, at your door, and you've been struggling with it ever since, to address it or not to address it. And it was, of course, the lover's soul bond type situation. The Virgo I was looking at intuitively felt you know that you should and that you wanted to, but your reality world your kind of analytical world said, no, I shouldn't. There's too much fear attached to this. And yet you remain splintered on the subject. And in other words, non-conclusive. I don't like to see splintering in people. So if you're that person and you already kind of understand what the hell I'm saying, the only way to make the anxiety really stop you desire a certain level of clearing this up and or confrontation Again, the only thing that keeps you back is fear. I, again, I would just advise you to try. You might not get anything in return. You might get something in return. The point is, is to give yourself peace on the subject. Okay? That's it. All right. What's going on, please, for Virgo? In September. Show me Virgo in September, please. I'm not going to lie, they were pretty, it was a mind-blowing tower type confrontation where somebody said, or they understood this particular painful truth to be true and they threw it back at you. And it's kind of been with you ever since. So whether or not they're right or wrong, I don't know. It's just the way that it weighs in on you suggests you're not done with it and you want to talk about it. At least say your side of things. But there was such a, a, a fear of response. So I just I just I just want you to do what's right for you. And that's if you resonate, okay? Crowning the Emperor. Okay, Eight of Pentacles. Page of Pentacles. Ace of Pentacles, you working. Good. You working, you working, you working. Don't you look large and in charge? Yes you do. Very good. Three of Wands. Six of Wands. Nine of Pentacles. Yes, look at you. Now this is this is this is better. They say I was right. I was right to do it. I very rarely, I very rarely restart messages anymore unless I see something that dissatisfying. Um, because there's nothing attached to it that suggests this is what I'm going to do, or this is how I'm changing my mind, or changing my spirit, or, or learning, or healing. Uh, that's so frustrating. This though is. You're working, and you feel good. And not only that, you in charge, honey. Look at you. You're killing it. The Emperor, Eight of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles. Some of you already have pre-existing work, and you're thinking about putting in a bid for a new one. <laughs> Earth signs never fail to crack me up. Ace of Pentacles. Three of Wands, Six of Wands, and Nine of Pentacles. It's like any day my ship's going to come in. I feel good. I look good. There's a certain level of confidence, though, that I feel like you're directing at somebody. That Nine of Pentacles. Because you've already kind of... It would be overkill, honey. It would be overkill to be the Emperor with the Eight of Pentacles and the Ace of Pentacles. And then you're showing me Nine of Pentacles. Your energy's confidently... Trying to confidently march somewhere. It's interesting. But just FYI, it looks like you're killing it. Okay? You're in charge. I'm not saying you're perfect. But what I am saying is that you are very much in control of your monetary world. Uh, it's like, I got this. I'm Big Daddy. I'm Big Emperor. Look at me go. And uh, so some of you are thinking about a brand new opportunity. Whatever that is to you. But you seem to be someone who, like, you do like to be in charge. We're talking director type, manager type thing. Uh, you do like to be in a position of power or you're just very, very comfortable managing. Okay, let's see that Emperor Six of Wands. So that's your comfort zone, huh? Yeah, 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 yeah. Ace of Wands, the Ten of Swords. Okay, I got some restless energy in you. While you're over here, large and in charge, and you're killing it, your 3D world seems to be on point in terms of monetary uh, compensation. So well that you're actually thinking about acquiring something new altogether. Good on you. 
Uh, it caught your interest. There is something, though, in your personal world that says, I would like to feel better about a particular subject. Now, I don't know what that particular subject is, but it's personal as opposed to widespread. You're showing me a lot of widespread energy today. But this is a little bit more on the side of confidence. Six of Wands, Ace of Wands, the Ten of Swords. There's something in you that says, I would like to be confident about a particular subject, but I don't feel like it's there yet. I see it down here in reflection towards this energy. Okay? You would like confidence to approach something. It's kind of like ignition switch, ace of wands. Can I approach this? Because I, if I approach this, Christina, I want to be confident about it. I, I want to be as confident in this as I am in my work world. I understand. It's like ten of swords. There's a little bit of fear here. Fear about pain or old pain, and you're trying to address that subject, or you want to address old pain with fresh energy. Like, I can approach this. I can deal with it. The emperor has that thing about wanting to be reassured, okay, before he does anything. So I can't say I'm surprised, but this is more on the personal level, okay? Because it feels like something that you can address, but you're not ready. Not just yet. Let's see that Eight of Pentacles. Let's just humor your work energy, shall we? <laughs> you're killing it. Some of you have uh, two jobs, I don't, or you're, you're in one solid, and you're thinking about shifting into a second one. Dropping one off, picking one up, absolutely. Don't mind me looking off to the side. That's just me giving my eyeballs some relief, uh, somewhere to look. Since we're so much closer, the light's a lot more in my eyes. <laughs> show me that Eight of Pentacles, please. Show me that Eight of Pentacles, show me that Eight of Pentacles. The Nine of Swords, the Queen of Wands, the Knights of Pentacles. Okay, yeah, you got some work stress here. It looks perfectly normal, but you're also saying, again, it's nothing I can't handle. That's it. You're an old hand at this, and sometimes, yeah, it gets stressful. But you got it. You got the passion for it. You got the drive. Uh, for some, I'm getting the connectivity here. Many of you enjoy the connectivity in this role. It makes you feel good. It gives you good feedback about where you are. You're not entirely satisfied with it. Perhaps you think you can take this skill set into a different direction. Is that why I see you pursuing new? Some of that page of pentacles, well, Let's jump on over here to Ace of Pentacles first, because the idea is that it grows from this to that. Investing, investing in a new income, possibly, or a new job. Some of you are thinking about shifting those energies. Or taking up a second role. Show me this Ace of Pentacles. And then I'll see how much you're actually putting into that. Show me that Ace of Pentacles, please. Let's see that Ace of Pentacles, please. Hmm... What? Five of Cups, the Empress, the Ace of Pentacles. What is this and why they have an opinion on the subject? What is this page of Pentacles, please? What is this page of Pentacles, please? What is this page of Pentacles, please? Somebody here doesn't want you to shift. What is this page of Pentacles, please? There's someone of importance, so it's not like I can, like, well, what the hell is their opinion about that? No, unfortunately, it's someone important. Show me this page of pentacles, please. So how badly do you want this? Because I can already tell you whoever's around you doesn't approve of it. Show me this. Oh. Look, I, I am seeing what by all rights is a spouse type situation. Uh, marriage, possibly commitment. And you have talked with, I believe, your person, the empress here, someone of importance, that you, queen of pentacles, would feel good about moving your energy forward into a new work opportunity or something else that you can invest your time, energy, and effort in, and the idea of a bigger profit. Your person's not really thrilled by it. They kind of want you to make whatever this is work, work. In other words, they say they're telling you to stick to this. Stick to it. I want you to kind of make that thing that you already have. Can you make that work, please? So, they're the Empress. I know you put a lot of value into what they say, especially if they are indeed your marriage partner. I understand. I respect that. So, of course, we're going to listen to our person. They have high rank in our eyes for a reason. Um, and I, I wish that, well, I mean, the Empress is the Empress. So, her opinion means something to you, clearly. I just, I kind of wish she was more supportive. Because you, you seem to really think that whatever this new opportunity is could suit you very well. Okay. It could pay more. It could be a stronger investment. But they're like, mm, yeah, though. But can you just stick to what you're already doing? So they're reflecting back on this Eight of Pentacles that's already pre-existing. Okay. 
and they don't they got a frowny face here they're not happy with this they're like why can't this work out or why won't you allow it to work out or why won't you put more work into it I mean again it's work right well because you still want to be happy at what you do and profit is profit if you need to make more money and you feel another opportunity can make you more money eh. so I don't know but you had a very you were very nice here you were very lovely you started this conversation with your person you're showing me an at-home conversation about beginning a new opportunity and you were lovely about it. You, you said, I think this could be my comfort zone. So maybe it's not about more money. Maybe it's about your particular... Com That's what it is, isn't it? It's about your comfort zone at work. That's why I saw that stress element. You're telling me you got it with the Queen of Wands. Okay, Queen of, Queen of Wands, she's rock and roll, bro. Okay? You're telling me you got it, but it stresses you out. Perhaps it's not a profit thing. Perhaps you want to move into a job that you've identified might be or not be as stressful. Is that what we're talking about here today? Because you said... It would personally make me feel more comfortable. It may not necessarily be more profitable, but it might fit my skill sets better. That's what it is. Ah, oh, bingo, I think. There might be more money involved, but you seem to think it's more about my, my wheelhouse, I guess, of experience and skills. You know, um, this one, you got it, but it's stressful. I, did, I wish they would support you better. Um, it's not their job. So, I mean, literally, your job is not their job. So they're not going to appreciate in terms of functionality. But um, they are saying, well, it'd be great if you could make what you're doing work instead of just hopping to the next thing. So that's up to you. That's entirely up to you. Okay. All right. Let's keep on keeping on. <laughs> that's a, that looks like that was a very recent discussion. It was so specific. <laughs> <laughs> that was a very specific discussion, Virgo. But I like I like how you laid it out. It was lovely. It's like it was in consideration of your experience and skills. That's why I wish this empress was a little more supportive of you. That's all. And because you're like this speaks more to me, or potentially could speak more to me. It'd be a little easier, a little more comforting. Um, and you're like, mm, they're like, mm, okay. Well. <laughs> What you will actually do, I don't know. It is your choice, ultimately. And, and if they see that it's good to you or for you, then perhaps they'll be a little more supportive in future. Okay. Let's see this three of wands. What are you looking at? What are you waiting for? Show me this three of wands, please. Three of Cups, the Sun, the Two of Wands. Oh, there's that There's that relay. I think it's time back to your opening here. Something a little bit more on the personal side that you say you want more confidence with before you reapproach it. Uh, you're kind of waiting for the timing to be right. Uh, there's a lot of waiting here. Three and Two of Wands. It's waiting literally to make a decision. And that decision is coming from you, not from outside of you. Um, perhaps part of you might be reaching out and hoping that they'll come back to reconnect with you, but that doesn't seem to be the case. The The decision-making seems to be tied to you. Uh, so here we have the three cups in the sun. This is, again, more that personal side we're looking at. There's something here or someone here you wish to reconnect with, and it would feel very good to you. Um, it feels like the sun. It feels like warmth. Uh, it makes you feel very good, the idea of reconnecting with it, but it's kind of like you're looking at it from a far distance point of view. I do see the decision is literally being attached to you, however. Um, so whenever you choose to engage with it, if you do at all, it seems to be on you. But this seems to be where that sense of I need confidence for this before I do it. I hope you achieve it because that's some lovely energy. Whenever it is that you did connect with it, you associate it with warmth. And sun is the highest um, form of happiness you can have in tarot. So I, I know whatever it is you connected with, it made you feel very warm and happy. Um, so I hope you get it. But again, it seems to be your decision. Okay. Show me that Six of Wands, please. Show me that Six of Wands. Show me that Six of Wands. Show me that Six of Wands, please. Show me that Six of Wands. Oh, why did I do that? Okay. Huh. Yeah, it's, it's with you. Your confidence and this issue, it's pretty cohesive, honey. This seems to be like a very solid aspect to your 3D world, and then there's 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 another part of you that that breaks away. Okay, and you show me something a little more private. Um, but yeah, this is this is that situation you would really love to balance with it, whatever it is. And like I said, your confidence is rising for it, so I think it's a matter of time before you pull the trigger on this, whatever it is. Um, but yeah, you 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 feel better a little bit more every time, and now I'm starting to see your energy pull more towards this in the actual 3D. 
So at some point, like I said, that confidence you were looking for to reapproach what possibly is a painful subject. When you last connected with it energetically, you understand that it makes you fundamentally happy at your core. But there is some discord between you and it. It happens. Uh, the point is, I'm giving you full credit for trying to reapproach it. You're trying to reapproach it on your time. Again, confidence here seems to be the thing that you're waiting for or trying to lean more into. I would like the confidence to bounce with this, to readdress it. It's not going to be easy. You already admit that with the three swords. And you even admit that they might reject me. They might. But I need to do what's right for me, 100%. 100%. That's baller energy, honey. That's all you can do. I want to approach this. I don't know what their response is going to be. They might even tell me to fuck off. Okay, fine. But I need to approach this to try to balance it bare minimum. It would feel good to try. And the last I remember having a natural energy flow with them, it felt really good. And we'd like to do that again. Even if it's in the simplest of ways, no expectations, okay? Oh, uh, I don't know. Let's see. It's becoming more confident. So I think this is what I'm seeing here is the actual delivery of that energy, possibly by, yeah, sometime around September. Show that Nine of Pentacles, please. I don't quite know what you're waiting for in terms of it feels right or it feels good. I don't know. But I just see your, that's how you opened. And you pulled out some big Emperor energy on that one, too. I need to make a decision on this. <laughs> So, but over here, you're quite loose, comfortable, monetary world. But this goes into a different place altogether. I see a simpler side of you. That's sweet. It's very sweet. And longs for that particular source of warmth. Okay, so I don't know who that is to you. But they seem to speak to you on a smaller, not smaller, but... A private side to just you. Tower. Ten of Pentacles. Oh. I think you two share an overlapping community in some way. Okay. Well, this is interesting. They're telling me they didn't quite see that coming from you. That's interesting. They didn't see that coming from you. How interesting. Why did they say that? They didn't see that coming from you. I didn't see that coming from you. Why are they saying that? Damn it. I don't have time. I really got my interest. They say they didn't see that coming from you. They say they're hard to surprise. Well, they're not surprised very often. They're a very solid figure. They have this sense of strong connectivity and work principles just as you. Makes me strongly suspect you two share overlapping communities or you both have very strong principle ethics around work. The idea of monetization, cultivation, network, connectivity, resourcefulness, they share those aspects. They pulled the nine and ten of pentacles in their own right, so I can tell that they are well-founded, well-to-do, and heavily connected. Um, so that's great. That's cool. So also a strong state of independence. But they said the towers, kind of like admitting, okay, I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> At least not from you. And uh, it's almost like they're impressed, if I'm going to be honest with you. It's like, okay, I didn't see Virgo doing that. How interesting. I don't know what the reception is. I just know that they're surprised. It's almost like, <laughs> well, I don't get surprised too often. It's almost like they're saying that. So they're either highly intuitive or their their world is just so on route where it's so predictable the day to day that they, that's why it's surprised by definition is because they don't allow much room for spontaneity. It could be that as well. That does happen, honey. Like, for instance, I'm highly intuitive, but let me tell you something. Sometimes the day is so... D -d 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 -d, and those days add up and the weeks add up. And then so when anything different happens, it's like, oh, well, I didn't see that coming. Well, of course not. I, I didn't make room for it. There's no... <laughs> There's no room for the unexpected because I plan everything. That's the difference between intuition. You can feel something coming, but you don't quite know what because you can't make room for it. You can't make... There's no time. <laughs> so that was interesting. I wanted to kind of delve into that energy a little further because it kind of reminds me of that. Yeah, expect powerful change. It's coming upon you, except you're the executor of it. 
Uh, and it's interesting. I saw part of your world that you have your own on route as well. Um, for certain things are already in place. It's time to release negativity. Full moon in Scorpio. And expect powerful change. That's beautiful. Okay. Anything here? Ay, ay, ay. Uh huh. So for some of you, the seventh might be important. Um, of what month? I could not say. Possibly by September. Yes. Okay. Also, seven weeks for some of you. Oh, there it is. There they are. That nine of pentacles. Yeah. For some of you. Yeah. Ninth, the seventh, sixteenth, maybe. The hanged man. For some of you, the twelfth. Okay. So we've kind of put off, and then also in the general sense of the interpretation, we kind of put off thinking about how to deal with this person directly, and I think that ties back to your opening and wanting more confidence to readdress this particular issue, because you understand pain is attached to it, but I also like your resolve here, and I respect this resolve. I'm going to approach this because I feel it's what I need to do. They might tell me to fuck off or reject me, but I have good reason to believe I should try. I think you're right. I agree with you, and their reaction is it's priceless. I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> so, job done. Okay. All right. Very well, honey. I hope this helped you. Put in the comments as you see fit. Take care. Be well.